you have any favorite childhood cartoons? I'm sure I do. I'm bound to. Uh, Anything comes to mind? Childhood cartoons. <laughs> uh, I, well, I mean, we're talking era of the Flintstones. And, well, not the original Flintstones, because they've been out for a while. Uh, but, you know, all of that stuff, Warner Brothers, I loved Warner Brothers cartoons. I liked all the old Disney cartoons as well. I did not hate them at all. Uh, what, what other cartoons were on? But, you know, I, I was, I was, I've always been a dork, kind of. So, I mean, like Johnny, Johnny on Bosch, right? Uh, I was I was watching Power Rangers when he was on it, but we're the same age, so I mean I think that makes me a dork. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that makes me a dork. Um, and you know I was what probably in high school. I don't know who watches Power Rangers when they're in high school. Me. <laughs> Guilty. Um, yep. But. Uh, I also, now I do remember a show, I loved Pee Wee's Playhouse <laughs> uh, before he got in trouble with his stuff. Uh, even then I loved him, I didn't care. Uh, it didn't bother me at all. It's like, ah, he just did something everybody does, but in the wrong place. Uh, right? Uh, back there. Uh, mine is not a question, more like a statement. I, I just. I don't think you should diminish the work you guys do. What you guys do is pretty amazing. Like sometimes, what they do is acting as well. And what you do is also acting, so it could be it better. Is. It is. I've seen multiple times where the dubby is actually better. Yeah. I like it when that happens. And I like it even more when I hear that you guys think that. Uh, because believe me, for as much as there is of that, there is the opposite going, you guys suck, you're never going to be as good as the Japanese, we only listen to the Japanese, why are you guys changing what they're saying, and you're going, oh, you're fluent in Japanese, well, no, I don't speak Japanese, but I know that they said something else on the, on the sub, and it's like, oh, you think that that's what they, ah, you're good, <laughs> you should really read a book. <laughs> yes, that's but thank you for saying that. Because you drunk Victor? Drunk Victor? <laughs> of course I do drunk Victor. I think drunk Victor wants to do drunk Yuri if you know that. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll just do the drunk Victor. <laughs> we all don't skip and drink, everyone. <laughs> they do not go well together. But let's take selfie together. <laughs> More questions? What are we, like six, seven minutes now? Are we here? Is there a character that you have played that has basically emotionally wrecked you? Like you get in there and you're like, I can't do this? No. I'm, I, uh, I am, I am made of iron. <laughs> no, uh, there was, I do remember, uh, in Shuffle, I know that sounds crazy already, um, but there's a, there's a scene where Oss is in the hospital, and uh, I, what's his name? Ren Reen? I don't know. Reen. Called him in that one. Uh, but he kind of break, has a little breakdown because he thinks that she's going to die, and he just wants her to use her powers, and she, she doesn't want to do it. Um, but a lot of times it happens for different reasons. Is that the, like for that scene? It wasn't necessarily because the scene. Uh, it's because I there was, I think it was a grandparent at the time that was in the hospital, and it's like impending death. They're you know, they're gonna die, and you know that. But as an actor, you kind of use that. You use that to your advantage and go well. Know exactly what this feels like. Might as well put it all out there. Uh, and I think that's the name of the game. So if if anything. Uh, you know, the praise, the praise that goes to actors should be because they're putting their minds and bodies at risk to give a good performance, you know? They're, they're willing to inflict that upon themselves uh, to try and, and affect someone else emotionally. I think that's the name of the game is, is you know, I hate to put it like this because it sounds shady, but <coughs> emotional manipulation is the name of the game. And so making you feel 
what, what I'm making myself feel. Uh, if you can do that, then you've got something, you know. Yay, crying. I think they pitched me up a little bit for that. I'm not positive, but I think they did. It, it was kind of rough, but the good thing is he didn't say a lot in each episode. You know, chances are you're going to have two or three lines. Uh, and I think for the most part I did it in this range, and they pitched it up. Whee! <laughs> and that's, that's really all that was. My favorite part of that character, though, was the, uh, I th the second season where he becomes the human version and sings the song. Uh, that was awesome. That's fun. That's probably my, the, my favorite singing I've done in an anime. Okay. What was your most challenging role that you've done? Most challenging role? Um, I think I'm... I think just for the sake of vocally, I'm going to say Barry the Chopper, because he screamed a lot. <laughs> so that becomes challenging, because I don't know how many of you have screamed for hours and hours on purpose. Uh, but it's never a good idea. And there is no, there is no good, there are ways to project, right? But, but no one would want to hear a Barry the Chopper that's just projecting. <laughs> you want to hear him yelling. You want to hear him straining and sounding like he's crazy. Uh, which is what you do, and then you lose your voice later, and go, well, hope everybody enjoyed that. <laughs> that's what you do. So that's probably the most challenging. How are we doing on time? Last question. Last question. Tell us to speak on Trump. What? Trump. Tell us to speak on Trump. Give us two minutes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look, all I want you to know is that it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Because where I live, my vote was never going to count anyway. I live in Texas, and it wouldn't have mattered uh, who I voted for. No one would have cared. Um, look, I, my confusion is really not so much with Trump as it is the people who voted for him. Because how do you not see what that guy is? How do you not see that? And so I see stories coming out now going, they're questioning whether he's fit to be president. He was never fit to be president. <laughs> and that's the thing. And if you couldn't see that, you're a moron too. <laughs> you know, and I, I know some very intelligent people that voted for Trump, and I go, why? And, they're, and, they, go, and they go, well, because I'm a, I'm a conservative. And I go, then, you being poor and having no money are a moron then. <laughs> because you and he are not the same. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care. Um, I'm sure he cares about something, mostly himself. Uh, maybe money might be a close second. Um, but, you know, come on. To, to go from Obama to Trump is like getting kicked in the balls. <laughs> it really is. And with that, we're done.